Nearly two weeks after Davis County Commissioners voted to move the Confederate statue from their courthouse property, the debate over another statue in Hopkins County picks up. People who want it moved from the old county courthouse make their first in-person case to the fiscal court this morning. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has more from today's meeting from our Owensboro Newsroom. Since two online petitions were made earlier this year, one calling for the statue's removal, the other for keeping it where it is, thousands of people have signed them online. But at today's fiscal court meeting, it was the first chance for some of those people to make their opinions known to the fiscal court in person. Historically, this monument not only misrepresents the Confederate soldiers that it celebrates, but it misrepresents our county. Chris Schweizer had ancestors who fought for the Confederacy in the Civil War. A gentleman named... Um, uh, Russell Hand, who fought in the 46th Alabama Infantry. He says the statue of the Confederate soldier that stood in Madisonville for more than a century should be standing elsewhere. I think that a lot of people uh, now have have started to reflect on what the statue means to a lot of people uh, in Hopkins County and how it creates an active sense of hurt whenever uh, they pass under it. Four supporters of its removal spoke to magistrates in one of their first chances to address the fiscal court in person. It's hurtful to me, so it's hurtful to me. It happens weeks after Davis County Commissioners decided to start a committee to look for a new place for their statue and months after online petitions started. More than 7,000 signed to remove it, about 4,500 signed to keep it where it is. We hope that there would be a plus uh, leading into this meeting because, you know, we were just hoping to, to capture some of that momentum coming out of Davis County and their decision. Judge Executive Jack Whitfield says those wanting to keep the statue expressed interest in addressing the court. He adds the influence of those petitions will depend on what each magistrate does. In Madisonville, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.